All right, the region bounded by y equals square root of x plus 1, y equals 0, x equals negative 1, and x equals 1, rotated about the x-axis. Okay, so square root of x minus 1. If I plug a negative 1 in there, I get 0. If I plug a 0 in there, I get 1. And if I plug a 1, I get the square root of 2. Um, I'm just going to estimate for my picture here. There's y equals square root of x plus 1. And then y equals 0, that's the x-axis. And x equals negative 1 and x equals 1. So this is my region here, shaded in purple. And I'm going to rotate that region about the x-axis. All right, so I'm going to pick a random spot along the x-axis um, to draw a rectangle perpendicular to the x-axis, my axis of revolution. So let's see, I'll pick this spot right here, and we'll call it x sub i. I'm going to draw a rectangle at x sub i, shade it in. It's got a little bit of thickness, delta x. And I'm going to rotate that rectangle about the x-axis, and I'll get a disk. And the height of that rectangle is the radius of the disk, and the height of that rectangle is the height of the function y equals square root x plus 1. So the volume of my disk is pi times the radius of the disk, which is the square root of x plus 1 squared, times the thickness of the disk, which is delta x. The volume of all the disks is the sum from i equals 1 to n of pi times the square root of x plus 1 squared is just x plus 1 delta x, and then my volume exact, I take a limit as n goes to infinity of the sum for my equals 1 to n, pi times x plus 1 delta x. That is the definition of an integral, the limit of a Riemann sum. So this is the integral. I translate um, dropping the subscripts, which I forgot to put in in the first place. There we go. Um, drop the subscripts, change the delta x to a dx. So this becomes pi times x plus 1 dx. And then for the bounds of integration, um, I drew one representative rectangle on here to figure out its volume, the volume of the disk. But I'm actually drawing lots of these rectangles along the x-axis here, starting at x equals negative 1 and finishing at x equals 1. Those are my bounds of integration.